Hey traders, short recap of my trading session today. Take a look at the S&P 500, which started with a gap down today and moving up, which is extremely important because 80% of the gaps are getting closed. Now, I did take a long trade in AMD during this time when the market was moving higher, but I also had some short trades, which I'm about to show you. And this is all based on the fact that S&P moved up, just like you're seeing now. Now, why is that? The S&P, once it moves up, is moving to close the gap, which happens 80% of the time, and then you expect a pullback. There are several reasons to think why a pullback should come. One of them is, of course, the political situation right now, war with Russia, whatever. Now, the market is downtrending recently, so I expect it to downtrend. It did move up to close the gap, which normally happens because institutional traders are pushing it up for several reasons. I made a video about this, a webinar, a 30-minute web webinar. I suggest you're going to look back on my videos and take a look and find this webinar. It's extremely important how to trade the S&P 500 and how to uh, how the S&P influences the stocks that you're trading. Extremely important video and I'm going to show you an example right now that you're going to understand it maybe a little bit better. So I expect a pullback for several reasons. Uh, one, it only moved up to close the gap. Second, uh, the situation. Uh, third, uh, uh, the fact that it's a 30-minute mark right now and normally on a Monday morning a 30 minute mark means that the mark is going to turn normally we're going to have a reversal on the 30 minute mark now this is Tuesday morning but we had a long weekend which means there's more open orders coming from the weekend and now this bunch of open orders from the weekends are the ones that making the market move in a specific direction let's say the first 30 minute normally during the, a Monday morning now, Tuesday morning, and then reverses. So once these all open orders are settling, after they settle, you expect the market to reverse. And this is the time where the market should start reversing. Now, you also take a look at uh, the market right now. You can see that there's a small red candle forming right now. So I expect the market to reverse during, this, uh, during the next few minutes. And then you look for the trades and I look at uh, BABA and BA. Both of them are extremely interesting because both of them moved up a little bit with the market but they are relatively weak. So I start with BABA here. BABA, I already had a trade in BABA as you can see here, 400 shares left for my previous trade which was a great trade but notice that BABA is down 5% and BABA moved up with the market. Once the S&P moved up a little bit, this is what happened with BABA but it did not move over the highs. It kept to the lows. That's why it gives me the feeling that BABA is relatively weak and it's going to continue coming down and that's why I'm going to add to my previous trade and now I'm going to add 2,000 shares. So I'm getting ready and I'm hitting the button right here and I'm short another 2,000 shares. That's my second trade in BABA. Now again, I'm expecting BABA, which is relatively weak. Remember, the market moved up, closed the gap, and even continued a little bit, but I'm expecting BABA, which is relatively weak, to come down and move under the lows, where I'm going to take my partial. So as you can see here, uh, I've got a very nice technical formation in BABA. It just broke down under this technical formation. I added, I'm going to take a fast forward now in BABA so you can see how it broke down under the lows and it's touching the lows right now and I'm up $1,500. Beautiful breakdown formation, about to take my partial, $1,700, $1,800 now, left just 200 shares. Now, my second trade was BA, which happened at the same time. And again, BA is relatively weak. It's down 2%. It moved up when the market moved up, but now again, it's coming down because the market's pulling back down so I'm shorting here 4,000 shares and again remember the market did move up the S&P did move up but once the pullback happens BA would find this as an excuse to move lower because it's relatively weak look at this beautiful breakdown formation I'm up six thousand dollars took my partial and it all started here again take a look at the S&P 500 this is where it all started you expect the pullback for several reasons I mentioned that 80% of gaps are getting closed. S&P moved up to close the gap. This is a good reason for a pullback. And then you've got the second good reason. The political situation, markets should come down. You expect it to fail. And then the third one would be the fact that uh, it's um, the 30-minute mark reversal. Normally, on a Monday morning, it's strong. On a Tuesday morning, after a long weekend, it's probably even stronger. So we've got a nice uh, technical reversal here at the 30-minute mark. I don't know where it's going to continue. Maybe it's going to come down all the way down. Maybe it's going to move over the highs. I don't care. I could expect the 30-minute reversal. Now, again, you look for stocks which are relatively weak. You look for stocks which 
you know, they did move up when the market moved up, but they are downtrending. And since they are downtrending and the market's pulled back, they will find this excuse that the market just moved the back down to move to a new low. And again, they do follow the market. Although the market was moving up, a pullback in the market, a 10-minute pullback, just two red candles, as you can see here, is a good enough excuse to move it down. Now, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give me a like. It helps my channel and helps more people like you enjoy day trading videos and learn more if you want to subscribe to this channel there's a button right here you can also hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads and please please remember that trading in securities is extremely risky and extremely hard it may seem easy here i'm just you know look at how much money i just made in 30 minutes over ten thousand dollars i had four green trades one losing trade but the end result is just absolutely amazing and you know it seems like it is easy for me maybe it is for most of the people out there it's extremely hard and my results are very very untypical again i'm a very experienced trader i'm trading for 22 years i want to thank you again for watching this video please give me a like if you liked it and i'll see you in my next video bye